Don't worry, Paddington. We'll find him. Oh, thank you. Let's look in the encyclopedia. Unless, of course, you'd like to freshen up first. I beg your pardon? Oh, you know, use the facilities. Most people do after a long journey. <laughs> oh. Well, if that's what most people do, then I'd like to do that. Top of the stairs. Top of the... Ah, oh, stairs. Um, <coughs> okay. Oh, going that way. Mm. Got it. <coughs> you all right? All good. He's all right. Oh. Hello, this is Henry Brown, 32 Windsor Gardens. Uh, I just need to add something to my home insurance policy. Well, what it is, is we have a guest for the night, uh, a bear, and I just needed some extra cover for any da Yes, a bear. No, a real one. About three foot six. Grizzly? Not particularly. Mind you, I haven't seen him in the mornings. <clears throat> so, how much would that be? Button down the hatches, young and. There'll be a storm tonight. Oh, radio said it was clearing up. Oh, radio. I feel it in my knees. My knees never lie. Guess what, Mrs. Bird? We found a bear. Uh-huh. A real bear from Peru. Oh, that's nice, dear. You don't seem very surprised. Oh, I gave up being surprised when they came up with the microwave oven. And I still don't trust you. He's a he. Tony's a he. Shut up. And Tony would be more than welcome to a bunk up. Who's Tony? I'm warning you. Just some boy she's in love with. No. Darling, really? That's it. Oh, well, can I meet him? Can I meet him? <laughs> Darling? <laughs> Okay, he can sleep in my room. That bear is not sleeping in anyone's room. He's going in the attic, and I want you all to lock your doors. I can't find anything about an English explorer in Peru. Well, of course you can't. Why not? He's making the whole thing up. It's just a sort of sob story your mother falls for. Uh, uh, hang on, that's not fair. It so is fair. You've literally just brought home a random bear. Hey! So embarrassing. You'd have done the same thing. Much more similar than you think. <sighs> what are you doing? storm is upon us. Oh, you and your knees. I can tell you for a fact, Mrs. Bird, it is not going to rain indoors. Oh, no. There she blows. Mr. Brown, are you there? Yes, hello. Yes, that sounds fine. No, 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 no. Don't read me the terms and conditions. I really want to action this as soon as possible. Now, don't put me on hold again. Paddington, what is going on in there? Uh... Nothing. Uh, I'm just having a spot of bother with the facilities. Weather for the ducks? Now, 
I know you all like marmalade, but this is my sandwich. Um, you're not using those ear brushes to clean your mouth, are you, Mr. Brown? Peculiar habit. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Awesome. Jonathan, don't even think about it. 34% of pre-breakfast accidents involve banisters. But Paddington just... I don't care what Paddington just... All my bathroom stuff is ruined. Well, you know, I've never liked using harsh chemicals, darling. Mm -hmm. Play havoc on people's skin. Uh, morning, Judy. Hello. Oh. Why is Dad so boring and annoying? For your own good, Jonathan. Let's be nice, darling. All I was trying to do was wash my face. Oh. Better? Oh. Maybe you and Dad just need a fresh start. Hmm. Suppose I didn't make the best first impression. Don't take this the wrong way, but why don't we try to make you look a bit more presentable? Hang on a minute. You're not talking about the facilities. The lights, Paddington. Not that bad. It is that bad. It doesn't rain enough in this city without having showers in the house. <laughs> We are parents now, and we have to protect our children. We do! They're screaming! No, darling, that's the sound of laughter. <laughs> wind, hot wind, too hot wind. I don't like it. Well, I hope I don't look weird after all that. Too much? Too much. Too much? <laughs> well, give me a brush, will you? <laughs> ah, there it is. Small duffel coat. Actually, it was mine first. Well, long before that, it was mine. Oh, was it, Mr. Brown? Really? He wore it on his first day at school. It's lovely. Wooden buttons for ease of pull. And these two sandwich compartments are an excellent idea. I must say, it suits you very well. I never thought I'd like a human coat, but... You look like one of the family. Oh. You're not going to send Paddington to the authorities, are you? You will try the Geographer's Guild. Yes, all right. We'll yes. see if they know anything. But if it's a dead end... I'm sure it won't be. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Fire her up, Mr. Gruber. So you actually broke in, Dad? That's right. Oh, that sounds incredibly brave, Henry. Well, you know, there's a time for being boring and annoying, and there's a time for being a man. Mr. Brown dressed up as a lady, and someone stuck pins in him. What? Oh, look, it's starting. Sorry, what was that? Doesn't matter. In a dress? No. It did look like a dress. More of a house coat. It's quite liberating, actually. Darkest Peru. A vast, unexplored wilderness shrouded in mystery. Until now. Is that where you're from? Oh, Paddington. It's incredible. so much from these bears, but I wonder what, if anything, they have learned from me. Montgomery Clyde. The Browns are a curious tribe, but I rather like them. The way Mr. Brown arranges his stationery. 
the strange objects Mrs. Brown finds in her handbag. Ah, there you are. How Mrs. Bird has a hoover for every occasion. The Judy can master any language, even bear. <coughs> Wonderful pronunciation. And how Jonathan can build almost anything using only Mr. Brown's educational old toys. This is amazing. It's very strange. I may be about to find the explorer, but I'm actually beginning to feel at home here. Now, Paddington, these books contain the names and addresses of all the people who live in London. Oh. I'm sure if we look up every M. Clyde, we'll find your explorer. Thank you, Mrs. Brown. All right, come on, you two, let's get cracking. Oh, wait for me. I'm going to see if I can find anything about Captain Clyde in the library. Oh, I'll come with you, Mary. We need to refresh our marmalade supplies. Uh, shouldn't someone stay with Paddington? Well, it's only for a few hours. Oh, you don't need to worry, Mr. Brown. I think I've got the hang of things. Well, you take care. Bye. Goodbye. Bye, Paddington. Bye. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hello, Mr. Brown. Hello. What's going on? What a lovely surprise. <laughs> Didn't expect you home so early. <laughs> Something rather special going on in here. More sugar, please. Oh, look at this. Hello, everyone. Hi, Dad. Hi, big fella. What's cooking? Marmalade, Mr. Brown. Mm. Go on, have a taste. Mmm, delicious. Mm. And just one sandwich contains all the vitamins and minerals a bear needs for the whole day. So, does that mean I don't have to eat vegetables? He said bear, not boy. <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> thank you, Judy. Judy. Now, has anyone seen... Ah, thank you, Mrs. Bird. I think every home should have a marmalade day. And a bear. Especially a bear. <laughs> Home. Life in London has been better than ever this summer. I've really got to grips with how things work. And it seems there's something new to do every day. Guess what, Paddington? Mm -hmm. The steam fair's coming to town. Ooh. I'm going along tonight to write about it in my newspaper. Mm. Who's going to want to read about that? Everyone. <laughs> we travel the world in an old steam train. I thought you'd love it. I do. Don't tell anyone, OK? Not cool. Why don't we all go? Good idea. Father's a dab hand at the coconut shay. Mm. Bullseye like Brown, they used to call him. Oh, not anymore. Coconuts are a young man's game. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about 80? 80? At least. Just a minute, young bear. Hmm? I thought I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs. Bird. I... I wonder how that got in there. Wakey, wakey. Hmm? Mumbling time. There you go, lads. Good luck. Um, Mr. McGinty? What do you want? Well, the thing is, I'm actually innocent. <laughs> and I wondered if you had any advice on how to clear my name. Now that we're friends... Friends? I'm your boss, not your buddy. Oh. Well, after you. Why? So you can stab me in the back? No, because it's polite. Aunt Lucy said if we're kind and polite, the world will be right. Ha! <laughs> you were ahead of me and now you're behind. That makes you a sap. Ingredients are over there. Um... Aren't you going to help? Nope. Now, get on with it. But there's 500 hungry prisoners coming for breakfast, so we'll need a 1,000 juicy oranges and... Oh, and rule number one, no talking. <laughs> rule number two, hmm? no humming but or singing I... or any other expression of bonhomie. We'll take them one at a time, then. Right. One at a time. One juicy orange. Two juicy oranges. Three 
tea, juicy oranges. Four juicy oranges. Now what are you doing? Taking them one at a time. One sack at a time! I'm sorry. I'm finding this a very stressful working environment. Aunt Lucy said... Aunt Lucy? I've had enough to hear with Aunt Lucy! Oh. She sounds like a proper old bag to me. I beg your pardon? I said... Your Aunt Lucy sounds like one of the most naive, gullible, mushy-brained... What's going on? Why, why are you looking at me like that? It's awful hot in here. Are you hot? I'm hot. Did I leave the oven on? It's called a hard stare. Aunt Lucy taught me to do them when people had forgotten their manners. You don't have to tell me about hard stairs. I practically invented them. Pretty good for a bear, though, I'll give you that. Now, Mr McGinty, I may look like a hardened criminal to you, but I really am innocent. And if you're not going to help me clear my name, you could at least help me make this marmalade. All right, I'll help. Thank you. Not going to be much use to you, though. These aren't exactly made for cooking. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you've got yourself a fine pair of orange squeezers. Orange squeezers? Good. No. Better. Tomato. Lovely. Yes. Spot on. Now, we have to be very careful with knives. Aunt Lucy said that sensible bears... Where on earth did you learn to use a knife like that? You don't want to know. Well, it's jolly good. Now? Now. Right, it's time for the sugar. That's what turns the juice into marmalade. Watch. Oh, a lot. Same again. Ah. A squeeze of lemon, a pinch of cinnamon, and just a bit more sugar. Well, is it good? Oh, it's too soon to tell. We'll only really know once it's set. 